What's up guys, your big boy scavenger BZ here bringing you another video. Today we're going to be doing a little mini series. I may or may not continue more videos, but for now we're doing this one, which is how to SBC. This one, we're this episode we're going to be talking about the Comebol Sudamericana. I'm going to show you two ways to be efficient with this SBC. Um, there's two definitions of efficiency, right? There's uh, the cheapest way, the cheapest efficiency, and there's the uh, quickest, right? The quickest way to be efficient with time. Uh, of course, there is like max efficiency, where you, the, the hybrid of like cheapest and uh, cheapest and the fastest. But um, it, 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 that's like it all depends on how you want to do it, right? So I'm gonna show you the extreme. Oh, I'm gonna just talk about how I do it first. Then I then I'll tell you like how you can be more time efficient or cheaper with the SVC. So first of all, <clears throat> start with the first. Uh, I think the first four, first stage through round of sixteen. Now these efficiently what you can do is just place bids on the players place bids go out place your bids and see if you win them i do it by team so we'll go for this one first and so so i see there's three center backs and then it's a three center back formation so no left and right backs uh so what i do and it's, it's probably the most efficient way to do is choose a league uh, choose a nation sorry one nation one nation will get your players on 10 chem uh, 10 chem is usually only achieved when you pack the player, but when you purchase the play player, you can only achieve 9 chem unless you get max chemistry on them with perfect links. And that's what you're going to be doing with this SBC. The first four ones, at least, you're going to be grabbing one nation. Uh, usually, I just choose any random for the 55, any random for the 58, 50, 60, 62. I, I go Uruguay because uh, they have like 60 through 64 rated players that you can just bid on, and sometimes they aren't one on bid. Mm, so. Yeah, that's that's how you do it for this. Uh, I mean, um, you want to be doing it one nation too because you can cheat your way out of a couple a couple positions. First of all, the center backs usually go for more than two hundred coins sometimes. So instead of using center backs, you can be using CDMs. That'll give you six cam. I think you can get get away with up to two in this this one. Maybe three. I think it's two. Two if you have no if you have a. Uh, yeah, two two because the CDMs only go up to five cam, I believe, right? If you don't own them, so it's five cam. Maybe you can get up with three CDMs if you own some of the CDMs. Uh, but usually it's two CDM. I use two CDMs here and one center back. The rest every same same position. You should get like uh, 96, 97 chemistry, maybe 95. You should get just enough. Uh, again, same nation just to get the cam. Any any and any combo will soon American player works here. Same thing with the 58. Uh, for I think 58 has left and right backs. Yeah, so for the left and right backs, so here's a trick to the center backs and left and right backs. Because it costs so much, you, the reason why we're using one nation is to cheat our way out of using center backs and left and right backs to get the max amount of uh, cam we can. And instead of using center backs and left and right backs, we can use left mids, right mids, and center backs. Um, usually the left backs and right backs go for more than 200 coins. I said 2,000, I think, previously, but I meant 200. Uh, so you want, I mean, you can try to win these on bids, but... It's going to be hard because these are uh, very sought out. Um, same thing with center backs, but I think you can win a couple of 150 center backs if you spam it enough. Um, usually, I just buy the center backs for 200 a pop because that uh, 50 coins will save me the uh, the anguish of waiting there. But you can. It's all up to you how patient you are, how much time you have, and how efficient you want to be with this. So you can cheat your way out of, out of this using left and right mids. Um, but instead of left and right backs. Also, let's see. Let's check this one. I think it's another three at the back. Oh, it's five at the back. This is a little tricky because you can't really cheat yourself out of that much. You can use left and right wings at the right back, but that means you're going to have to be using center backs. Or you can use left and right backs at the left at the wing back spots and uh, use two CDMs. It's really all up to you how you can uh, achieve this efficiently uh, for your situation. That five at the back is kind of the hardest one. It's kind of the, the lose-lose situation because you, you really have to shell out for uh, three of those no matter what. Same thing here. Uh, 64, okay. So 64, you can kind of win these on bid sometimes. You can win these on bid uh, and, you know, get a whole 64 rated team. I think you can use one or two 63 rated. I think it's one. No, I think it's two. I think you could use two 63 rated. Uh, but I know I usually use one for sure. I could guarantee you could, I could guarantee you could use one. But I'm pretty sure you could use two. Anyways, just I always try to go for 64s anyways. Because I, I personally, I, I bid them. I bin them for 200. Because it's much easier just to bin them. 
uh, it saves a lot of time for bidding up uh, or the goalkeeper is like it's kind of easy to uh, bid, uh, bid for the goalkeeper the striker sometimes center mids a little bit yeah CDM yeah left and right mids I don't think so because there's so few of them and again left and right backs you kind of have to you kind of have to snipe those you kind of have to pay pay what you pay for them usually I go for the 83 rated on the left or right back spot and maybe a center back spot but the rest should be easy uh this one's gonna cost you 2200 i think on um, if you wanted to do it quickly this one is gonna cost a little bit more the 65 rating uh so how i do it is lazy i'll go buy the cheapest comable gold which i think at the moment is either centurion or hatch or i don't know how you say his name Hauche. Hache, I, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, but Gabriel Hache. Uh, let's see, what does he go? For? What do you go for? Let's pop it up. It's going for a thousand coins right now. So it's going for a cheap, yeah, a thousand coins. Usually he's the cheapest one out of the bunch. Um, usually the left and left and right backs are. The highest rating is Acosta. You kind of this is going to be a staple for later, but I'll just show you him now. Uh, how much he goes for? He usually goes for a lot more than the, the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, you, usually he can go down to 1500. He's actually real, a lot right now, so I would steer clear of this guy for now at least. Uh, when, I, my suggestion is if he's over 1600, uh, you know 1700 sometimes I'll, I'll pay up, but if he's over 1700 for me, I won't I won't go that route and I'll try to find a cheaper solution. If, if he's like if he's close to 17, like 18, 19, and if I'm really desperate, I'll hit it. You know, I'll go for it. But for this one, I'll go for that other guy, the the left wing 75 rated. Pop them here, and uh, and then I basically must have the freedom to bid or, or bin or whatever at this point. Like, uh, getting a, a set gold player for this one is um, gives you a lot more freedom than just trying to get the 65 and then trying to get a couple of 87s and 89s in here. Uh, sorry, 67s and 69s. That's just you. You can do that with 67, 69s. You can balance out and find the chemistry. Um, I only do that if I pack them. So if, if I have them from packs, or if I somehow like, I'm looking on on bin, and, and then I'll just throw, I'll just looking for the for the cheapest ones on bid. Sorry. So I'm trying to bid for them, and then look for the cheapest ones. Sometimes I'll pop like a 300 coin bid on one of them, and sometimes I get them. So because uh, like I think 69 rated players, if like if I can buy three of them or four of them, that's like 1200 coins. Uh, usually like three of them 69 should do I think that's the that's right maths four four twelve yeah so if you can if you can get 369 uh, rated uh, com uh comable sul americana cards for 300 coins a pop that's 900 coins that's just about what it's 100 coins less than the other guy is but sometimes he rises because people there's SBCs like future stars he'll probably go up uh, this is the next event that's coming out so yeah like it, these guys fluctuate but Sometimes if it is cheaper to hit the the bids on the on the sixty nines, uh, so that's all up to you. I, I just hit the gold cheapest gold and then I just fill it out here. I kind of get 63, 64s combination. I don't have to hit the sixty fours, uh, but if you want to, you can get like three sixty nines and then you can fill the rest out with sixty fours and maybe one sixty three, um, and you can get the get the uh, rating requirement. I'm I'm not sure too sure about the sixty three. I checked that. But I'm pretty sure with, uh, I've, you know, I've done this so many times that it's drowned. It's just drowned in my head. I've usually used 64 just in case. Um, but yeah, that's this SBC. And this is kind of the same thing for the next one. For these two, for these two, I'd just recommend just pop a gold. Pop a gold and, and save yourself some time. So 64 rated. This one you have to, I think you have to use all 64 maybe. Maybe uh, um, <clears throat> this is one of those ones where you kind of have to use a Costa, I think. Or you can't use a 75. You got to use a Costa or Centurion. Uh, maybe I'd, I'd recommend Centurion because I, th I think he's uh, cheaper. <clears throat> Let me, uh, sorry, what am I trying to do here? Sorry for my little bit. My throat's a little clogged, so I'll be like clearing my throat or maybe coughing a bit, but that's what it is. Um, I think it should be, it shouldn't be that expensive. Yeah, look at him. He's only 1200 right now. So, uh, usually he's a, the cheapest one. He's, he's not the highest rate. It's the second highest rate one, I believe, uh, behind a Costa. So you can just get, pop him in here and then he can, I think you can go 64 rated here. Maybe. Maybe you'll need a silver, like a 65 or higher. But uh, again, if you want to go bid on these, you can probably get one for 250 or 200 if you're lucky. Uh, 300 if you want to secure this the the bid for like 69 or something. Uh, that's how you do these. Um, this one again, you could just grab gold and you're fine again. Uh, get sent to Dion for this one. You can even get them for this one too. And then you're pretty much uh, have the you can use 64 rated and fill it out. This one you kind of want to use 
Centurion, and you kind of forced to use 64 Radiance for this one. Um, and you might need a Silver, depending on how you how what ratings you can get for the center backs and left backs. That's usually the most difficult part, is getting 64 rated left, cheap 64 rated left backs, right backs, and center backs. They're usually like 250 plus, uh, the left and right backs and the center backs. Uh, sometimes they're listed for 200. So if you see them for 200, I would just go ahead and grab them. 69 rated this is a little bit different so i'm gonna start from the bottom up after this uh, from semi-finals bottom up because this is how i memorize it i've already done the final this is easy uh i just use full argentina um it's, it's uh i believe it's a uh, four one four one yeah left and right back center backs a seat no this is a four two three one i think right it's this is this has left and right back center back a goalkeeper two cdms it's either it's just center mid and then left and right mid. I don't know if it's, I remember if it's a cam or center mid or and then a striker. I'm pretty sure it's a cam. Yeah, it is a cam. Uh, yeah. So again, just a full Argentina team. Um, you can uh, if you get some of the same leagues in there, you can cheap out on the uh, the center backs. You can use a CDM, but I'd rather use two center backs. I don't think Argentina center backs are worth that much. I think it's the left and right backs that go for a lot. So I just use left and right mids instead of left and right backs. Sometimes you can snipe one that's cheap. But uh, again, I think you can use... I use usually almost a full silver team. And I throw in like three or four goals in there. Like uh, Correa, it's 81 rated. Benitez is 80, it's a goalkeeper that's 81 rated. Um, who else? You can. Uh, I'm talking about the Correa, Correa from uh, Lazio, the center forward. There's also the Correa from... From Atletico, the right mid, he's 82 rated. You can also use him too. He helps to bring the rating up for the, this. And uh, you can just use like three, uh, like two or three 80, 80 plus rated, and then maybe one goal that's not. Um, like the, uh, uh, I'm forgetting who the Bologna center center mid is for, for Argentina. I forget what his name is, but you can use him in here too. Uh, again, this is not a crazy SBC to do. It gives a pretty good pack. It's untradeable, which sucks. You know, last year they were a lot better, but. It is what it is. This one, I believe, you need to use uh, five golds. Let me see if you need to use five golds for this. I do think you need to use five golds for this. Let me check if I have any. And these are the ones that I would recommend to go for, <clears throat> the cheapest ones. Uh, there may be one or two that are missing here, but these are the ones, staples, that I go for this SBC. So what I would do is go left back, right back, maybe center mid, and then you can use these. Hey, I think it is five. You can use these at strikers. You just need to find everything else. Um, sometimes, yeah, you should. You need to go full Argentina for a spot here. I think. So if you're if you're gonna go here, you gotta go full Argentina right here. Uh, get like an Argentina center mid. There's a, there's a CDM, but he's a silver and he's expensive. There's an 84 Argentina center mid, and I think there's an uh, eight. Uh, sorry, 64 Argentina center mid, and I think there's a 64 Argentina cam i can double check i'm pretty sure there is you can check that for sure let's just put this uh um, right, let's just drop it down to 200 because uh, 250 it's a magic number yeah there is okay so you can get uh that center mid that the cam uh, and then if you can get enough chemistry with making these left forwards uh and right forward you can do this um or you could, you could just, you know, instead of doing that, you could just use, you know, Marcelinho and then boom. Get that cam. You got your chemistry there and it'll help you all fill this, fill the rest of this out. I think it is five. I do remember seeing five. Let's just go, let's go do this right now. Let's, let me just confirm that my, that what I'm saying is right. And that's it. See if you, can you cheat yourself out on some? It's gonna, okay. So yeah, you could, you don't have to use a Costa for this one. If you get 64 rated, but I would, you know, I would probably just use a Costa because then, you don't have to go 64 exactly for these. You can get some 63, 62 rated center backs, and then you're still good to go. So yeah, you got to use five of the five gold uh, Sudamericana players for this one, and then the rest can be 64, and then you can get a couple. I think two 63 rated players, maybe one, uh, maybe even lower than that. But it depends on which ones you use. Again, you, you, I think you need five for this one for sure. That's what I do. I use five, and then I fill out the rest. For this one, it's minus one, so it's four. Uh, just let's see. This is, I think it's a five to back one, so this is kind of sucky. Yeah. Um, so it's, I use two of, uh, I use that Hotch guy and I use Centurion at striker and, uh, left forward and then I fill the rest out. I'll, I'll, I'll dish out for here, man. Again, the 64 rated, you need, you kind of need all 64 rated for this one. You can go out and try to 
bid for them, but I would highly recommend not to do that. Uh, in terms of time efficiency, because it's going to take forever for you to complete this SPC. One, like, 50 coins here and there is going to save you some time and some anguish, honestly. Um, again, this is left and right back. So I would go for the left and right back here, the 80, the gold ones. Uh, Mino, the left back, and Angulo, the right back. I'd go for maybe uh, Centurion here, and then one of the either Pablo Hernandez or Marcelino, and uh, probably put Marcelino here, Pablo Hernandez, uh, and then put uh, Marcelino here on the left center mid, and then you could put uh, Mino on the left back, and then Centurion at striker. Then you kind of give uh, um, Marcelino if you if you can bring him another Argentina link like Argentina camp by 64, then you can get 10 camp. Again, uh, you're going to try. It's kind of hard, but you you want to try to at least use the same nation as much as possible. That gives you 10 chem. It gives you more room to use players off chem. Your CDMs, your right, left your left and, uh, your left mids, right mids, left wings, right wings instead of left backs. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically the way to save coins on those. Uh, 64, I think, is kind of... Um, I, I personally use the same thing, another four. I think you can use three if you find a couple silvers. I do four. I do four, and then I, it, just, it saves me more time. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I want to try to complete this SPC as fast as possible, but also not too expensive. Cheap enough where I'm just like, yeah, okay, five, five, uh, 500 coins is going to save me a headache from doing this, and and because, uh, you know, time's a little valuable, you know, time's just a little valuable. This one is only, I think we've went over these. Uh, again, this is this one is one. Actually, now that, now that I go back on this, I think this is two. I think this one's two. Uh, let's see, because 64, 67 minus 8. You're going to need 2 for this one. Sorry, I was, I was a little wrong with this one. You're going to need 2 for this one. Uh, the 69 rated you're going to need. Unless you get a Costa. If you get a Costa and Centurion here, I think you can get away with using uh, only 2. But again, Costa is a little expensive. He's almost twice as much as expensive as uh, those other goals sometimes. So it is maybe more uh, more cheaper to go for the left, uh, like the other left and right back and center mids. Then it is to go for a cold stack because he, he's at 2200 right now, which is like double the cost of the left and right big, left and right wing. It's it's like both the cost of both uh, the 75 left wing and the 77 right wing put together. So uh, it all it all depends on how the prices are fluctuating at the point. Um, again, a cold stack was a staple for me, but I was buying him for like 1400 coins at at that point, uh, 1600 max and 1700 if I was a little little feeling a little bit lazy and nobody was listing them. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially how to complete this SBC. Uh, the key to doing this, which is a good SBC, is uh, uh, left and right mids for left and right backs where you can save save uh, coins on those positions that are hard. CDMs instead of center backs because you want to um, save, again, save coins. And the, by the key is to doing, to doing saving coins on using off camp position players that are kind of in the same uh, minded, like left, left mid, right back. They're... The, uh, uh, left mid and left back are kind of the same, so you only miss four chemistry. But nations, you got to use nations, nations just to let you get 10 chem on other spots that are sure, like strikers and center mids, cams. So you can cheat yourself out of using these center backs and left backs. So the, the money, see, the thing is, once you start hitting these, like once you do these, the, the gold, the silver packs, you can actually start making money back from this, from this, uh, SBC. I, th I think if you sink this SBC, let's see. In terms of cost, it's gonna be uh, let's see. Well, it's probably not gonna cost you. It's probably gonna cost you. On, okay, so on on Footbin it says it costs you 90k, and I don't believe that. I think this SBC costs you like 40 to 50k, depending how cheap you can get some of these cards and how uh, you go about bidding or bidding. I think you can get this done for like 45k. That's what I was getting it done for, 45k. Uh, sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower. But the thing is, this thing gives you a bunch of silver packs. As you see, there's a small prime, there's a jumbo, there's a silver, jumbo premium, jumbo, and then small prime. So, so it costs you 45k. Let's just say 45k. And you open these packs, and sometimes you hit some of these West Brom, these Cadez. I think it's Cadez. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, these other like Bundesliga silvers. These La Liga. I don't think League One silvers sell for a lot. So if you get some of these main league silvers, they sell for they can sell for like three thousand coins or higher. If you get West Brom, obviously eighteen thousand coins insta sell. Um, that's how you can uh, cut the cost for this. Basically, uh, I found myself averaging around uh, ten thousand coins from 
from these SBCs, I get about 10,000 coins back. Uh, if I'm really lucky, sometimes I'll hit like a couple Cadiz players in a row. I, I don't think I've, I've only hit a West Brom player once from this because those uh, players are really, really very rare to pack. But you can still pack valuable silvers in here. I've got a couple Bundesliga silvers that sell for three or four thousand coins. Um, and you get you, so you sell off this, and then um, you know you, you can maybe you can maybe make up to back half your pack your uh, about twenty k, which is almost about half of what you spent in in the in the pack. But I, I'd say like you you could make up to ten k from. I could say minimum. Uh, of course, if, if you just don't get lucky, you you can just make like what maybe like maybe like seven thousand coins, six thousand back. That's just when you're very unlucky. Uh, but I'd say you can make make a back of about uh, ten thousand if you sell everything minimum. If you sell everything, you can make back ten thousand, and maybe even up to twenty thousand depending how lucky you are. Which is half the again half what you're paying for this. And look, so basically for twenty k, so the idea is for twenty k you're getting a small rare mixed. You're getting a mixed player, you're getting a small prime, you're getting a premium, a prime electrum, a jumbo premium gold, and you're also getting the prime gold players pack all for 20k. And yes, I know some of them are untradeable. I think most of them are untradeable. We'll go back and check that. Let's see, I don't, I don't think any... Uh, well, yeah, so they're all untradeable. They are untradeable, so you're paying 20k, 20 to 30k for untradeable packs, but it's not that bad. For, for a 15k pack, for, for a premium... Uh, where is it for a premium for a prime electron players and a gold jumbo gold 50, uh, 20 to 30k is not a bad deal it's uh it's crazy this is what i did for the team of the year this is how i saved up almost 700 packs for team of the year um i'm probably gonna post a video later about how that worked out for me <laughs> uh spoiler alert it uh i felt shafted but we will talk about that later that was a uh, team of the year pack opening and uh, yeah, I'm kind of showing this now because uh, I think Future Stars is coming out in a couple days and some of you guys are going to be saving packs for Future Stars to open up. Personally, me, I'm going to be saving, and this is fucking crazy, it is absolutely insane, but I know it's only been a day, maybe a day, it's only been a day after Team of the Year is out of packs, but I'm already saving for Team of the Season. I know that sounds insane, and I've got six packs already saved up from just grinding the game so far. I haven't got any rewards or anything, but... I'm going to start saving all my packs team of the season because these are the 99 rated cards. This basically EA flipped it. This year, the end game players, it's going to suck so long, but the best players are going to be in team of the season. That's where your real team of the year is going to be at. Your t ultimate team of the season is going to be the real team of the year for this year. There are going to be your 99 rated, your really, your really insane broken cards in this game. And yeah, Team of the Years are already insane, and there'll probably be little to no difference between Team of the Season cards, but I want to pack 99 rated players, you know? Uh, so I'll be saving all my packs for Team of the Season. I think that's three months from now. I already spent three months not opening packs for Team of the Year, and I, felt, I just thought about it, like, fuck it, if I can do it for, for, well, I can do it, I already did three months to open up for Team of the Year, I can do it again for Team of the Season. And uh, this time I'll be going a lot more un more tradable packs because uh, coins, coin is king. This is uh, this has been it. This has been how to complete this Coma Bowl for the uh, how to SBC Coma Bowl Sudamericana. Um, again, I hope this helped you a little bit with the whole tips on what to do. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments that uh, we do your criticism. You know, um, if you have a cheaper way to do it, I'd love to know because I'm I'm honestly just trying trying to. Uh, help out people to do these SBCs and save up for these events that way they don't have to spend money on the game I'm not opposed to spend not spending money on the game but um, I have a different opinion on that but yeah what's uh, people like to grind this game and so one way to grind packs and save up packs for cool events this is how you do it this is one of them uh, so yeah uh, been your big boy scab I hope you enjoyed this video uh, stay safe guys uh, and uh, see you guys in the next one peace